The Premier is demanding health officials learn from their mistakes after an email that's reignited WA's coronavirus crisis at Fremantle Port. The message that crew members on board the LQ8 ship had a temperature was received but wasn't deemed a risk or acted on. Tonight, the scandal continues to deepen. In the past hour, dozens of crew members have been evacuated from the infected vessel and moved to lockdown at a hotel in the Perth CBD. We have reporters covering every angle of this story tonight, and Renee Henry is monitoring some major developments in the health sector. But first, Gary Adshead begins our coverage. Safety first is the slogan, but health officials clearly didn't read the signs. Days after the missed warnings, 27 crewmen from the LQ8 evacuated to hotel quarantine this afternoon. They'll join six other seamen who have already tested positive to the coronavirus. The remaining 15 crew on board will remain on the ship as a skeleton crew and they will be monitored on a daily basis. But the LQ8 was posing more than just a pandemic threat for the Premier. His political capital was taking a hit after an attack on federal agencies backfired badly. This email from last Friday morning to the WA Health Department is the smoking gun that shot down the Premier's complaint. His government was not told by the Federal Department of Agriculture that crew members had elevated temperatures before the ship docked in Fremantle. Clearly, if there's cases of people reporting high temperatures on board, that should be reported and red flags should be raised. Clearly yesterday, I did not have the information that I have now. An email was sent from the Federal Department of Agriculture to the Public Health Emergency Operations Centre, informing them of three ill crew members. And despite what the Premier said yesterday, that email didn't raise red flags at all. Well, it was noted. We get lots of emails like that every day. We get many, many emails about lots of different things. And so the LQ8 docked, the threat of coronavirus became real, and neither the Premier nor his health minister had any idea. Everyone involved, in particular the Commonwealth agencies that knew about this, uh, they need to uh, be on guard and be alert about these sorts of cases. Look, I don't want to second guess. Uh, people who deal with this and are uh, clinical practitioners about what, what they do. A more contrite Premier didn't cut it for the opposition leader, Lisa Harvey. It was an unnecessary stunt. It put fear into the community, heightened the level of anxiety in vulnerable people in our community, and the Premier needs to apologise. There was no apology. No, I think it's an acknowledgement. Look, a lot of people have been working extremely hard. But the Federal Minister, whose department the Premier rounded on, says the issues on the LQ8 were already in hand. I have emails to ensure that my department has acted within the protocols uh, that we have set out with the states. The Premier spoke to David Littleproud this morning and says the pair are now only focused on one issue, getting the LQ8 on its way. Mark McGowan is a little bruised by picking a fight with the federal government without all the facts, but his political stocks are riding so high at the moment, it's unlikely to leave a permanent mark on his leadership, Michael. Gary, thank you.